Hi guys, welcome back to Raptors Garage and the first video we're filming of 2020 and it's only the 4th of January, so we're not doing bad. I actually don't know what day it is. <laughs> it wasn't until you turned up this morning I actually realised it was Saturday. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so it's Saturday morning guys, it's cold. Uh, we're actually going to be joined by Scott from Axe Overland in the next hour or so. He's bringing the Axe Bomb up, he's coming up to see us. Um, but yeah, we've, we've basically, Neil has sent us this really cool little gadget that we're going to sit and have a play with. Now for me, it's another one of those massive steep learning curves that in the last sort of 20 minutes Paul's been showing me what this thing actually does and it's like whoa wow really okay that makes a lot of sense um i'm gonna you, you think it. you are the learning curve i've got to learn how to use it <laughs> but it's, it's quite straightforward isn't it i mean i've from i've watched you mess about a bit now and i'm thinking okay now i understand now why you're doing it and it's not beyond the grasp of a, a, what, a good reason at least competent if you can wield a spanner you can do it okay it's it's not basically what we're doing is setting the timing uh on this injector pump because if you went back to the video when we were doing the cam belt yeah everything was to cock on the timing yeah. it was it was a tooth and a half out on the belt yeah so neil sent us this up uh to have a play with it so we can set the pump timing exactly and we'll show you why you need to set the pump timing exactly because the locking pin that you use to lock the pump off isn't exact it's ballpark yeah it's quite a lot of play yeah which we'd seen in a video on um the tdi performance page that neil runs by a guy called james which you know kind of and he was showing just how much play you're getting on that gauge yeah. just by the wiggling on the timing um and you know if you if you've done cam belts before you'll know that you you wiggle the key in to lock the pump off yeah and you can actually feel how much slot there is in the key yeah we're only talking hundreds of a millimetre yeah but when you're dealing with an injector pump that's a big amount to be off yeah isn't it? i suppose we are, we are you know we're tuned well i've just right? shown you how much play there is in the pin yeah so we'll show you in a second yeah what now you think one handy thing is because it's going to be two of us it should be a little bit easy because you can set it while i tighten things which i think we did yeah you do you need on your own. it is much easier with two people because we've actually taken the locking bolts out of the pump so you need two ratchets basically one person to set the timing on the pump and one person to bolt it all off cool it's my understanding of it anyway yeah. so okay guys well, so the handy thing is guys with grey worm it's all exposed and it's easy to see so we're going to kind of give you a brief overview of what we're doing so that you can understand i'm starting to understand what paul's actually doing but we're also going to do both Heimdall and my red truck, aren't we? Yeah. And then we'll show I know you my truck needs to doing because I know when I did the cam belt last time, you could feel how much that pin was in. Yeah. So when we do so, that, we'll do a proper video of actually how to take everything off you need to get access to. How to crawl into the engine bay. Yeah. Because it's going to be a lot harder than what we're doing at the moment. No, this is easy. But yeah. So, awesome thing is, guys, we're going to be running a competition. We're probably going to announce that on the next video. Um, Neil has agreed to give us one of these to give away as a prize in the competition prize. So we're gonna come up with a competition, get you guys to comment, give us an answer to a question we're gonna come up with and we're gonna be able to send you one of these out um, for free so that you can do it on your own truck. And it doesn't just work with um, discos, does it? I was thinking this is just a specific thing. So it's any what, VM pump? Yeah, VM pump, work. I think it is. Yeah, we'll yeah. double check guys, but yeah, it's not something Basically, that's specific any, to any Bosch pump. Owners. Yeah because it's got all the adapters in with it so there's uh, it's not just 300 tdi you should be able to like, do the uh, the pump yeah, on your truck on. yeah awesome right guys let's um let's go and crack on and we'll have a look at what exactly paul's been doing what we're going to break Hi guys, so it comes in this really nice uh, little case, which I've got them out, I was quite impressed with. It's always nice when something comes well packaged. Again, it comes with some extra bits, depending on the pump that you're going to be using it on. And primarily, what it is, is this 
um, gauge here. And I'm going to ask Paul because you know I don't fully understand it, but as, as I understand it, there is basically a, a needle on the end of it, and you've got a couple of needles depending on what pump it works with. But as the pump rotates, you're getting this sort of like a, about a millimetre movement back and forth. Am I right? There's a, there's a couple of mil in the piston. A couple of mil sort of, sort of movement, and basically this gauge is measuring it. Well, it's uh, probably actually more than that in the actual pistons, but for us, yeah. we're after a, a setting of um, 1.54. 1 1.54. 1 so basically looking to take this from zero as Paul rotates the pump to get to 1.54 and then sort of lock it off there. And that's our yeah, that's position that. we're looking for. It's not the top of the stroke, but it's where we want it to be set for the timing. Right, cool. Guys, there's some good videos on YouTube. Um, you know, I've watched them, didn't overly understand them because like I said, I'm still learning all this kind of stuff. Um, Paul had a watch of them. So again, we're gonna give you an overview of what we're gonna do. We're gonna go into some more detail on the future videos, but we're gonna show you what the kit's involved and we're gonna show you now what we're gonna do in order to get this set up. Right guys, what I've done is unbolted the timing gear to release the cam belt, well the cam belt from the pump. So you've got one, two, three, these are the bolts I've taken out. Um, to release this pump. And what you normally have is, is your timing pin, which is there. That's the locking pin. Basically, it's a, I think it's an eight mil, looks eight mil-ish, eight mil or 10 mil pin that goes into the pump. Now at the moment, I've got the pump backed all the way off to release the tension off it so I could actually get zero on the timing on the on the gauge so we know where the stroke is going to be on this when we put it back together but we'll just show you how much play there is in one of these pins and I didn't point out guys is actually Paul's taken off obviously all the injector pipes um, here so obviously you can get the gauge on and again we're going to doing that when we actually do it on, a, on the um, a vehicle that's all set up because it's obviously going to be a lot more awkward to do than it was to take stuff apart on this one but in order to get the gauge in you do need to take obviously the pipes off and then there's a little kind of like um a covering cap on here isn't it it's, a, it's actually a bolt it's a behind bolt you. you take off in order to to put this in which is this one with a little tiny washer on it that i'll be careful not to drop right guys at the moment we've got a pump at zero yeah and as Paul basically just tweaks with the spanner, which I'll show you in a minute, you can see the dial start to move. Now one complete... That's going to be on the attempt. Yeah, one complete no. um, turn is one mil, and we're looking for 1.54, which is slightly back. Is the point that too much? Well. Is there. That is exactly 1.54. And that's where we want it for the timings there, into yeah. there. There, there. Bit more, bit more. It's there. very, yeah. very sensitive, that gauge. Yeah. Are you pretty much there? Because I can't, see, I can't, I can't, I can't yep. see it from here. That's spot on. From the front of the pump, guys, what I'm doing is literally rotating it that much to realign back to the pinhole. Now, I can't actually see the gauge from here, that's why you're much better off with two people to do this. So, so a bit more again. A bit more, a bit more. A bit more, uh, a little bit on, back a bit. Yeah. Fraction. You yeah, should be about there, that's what it feels like. You can actually feel yeah. the tension on the pump as you're going round uh, where it's actually... You can almost feel where the position should be. Which I'm sure they're thinking it's somewhere about there. A little bit too much at the moment, back on right. a bit. No, that's it. That's 1. it. 1.53, 1.54. Now, if that's in, and we can get the pump there, we can get the key back in. But if you look at that key, it's not straight. Yeah, you jumped up there. Yeah. It? And that's how much wiggle you get on these keys. Mm. So that's why you use this timing gauge. So we're going to set this now. Um, and you're we'll show physically um, hold it on 154. I'm going to hold it on 154, and, and you're just going to tighten this one 10 mil pin up. So let's take this key out. So, okay, and come back a bit. Yep, exactly there. Right, so Chris is going to come round here now and just you know, before you tighten it up, just check what that gauge says. 
the slightest bit of movement I've got on this, it's uh, it's winding really quick. Yep. Yep. And what's it saying now? Oh, not bad. Fifty-two. I'm, I would be happy to leave it at that. We've got a third person to keep track of it while. But that's just yeah. as it's taking the tension back up. Yeah. Wow, we, could have, we could have a play with that and see if we can get it back to uh, as close as we can to sort of 154. Yeah, I mean, it's almost like I said, almost the three people, someone's keeping an eye on it while yeah. I'm well, coming around. And the ends fell off! <coughs> so I just leave some that. You watch the gauge and I'll see if I can do this with multiple hands. God, he's tight now, not he? <laughs> he meant it! Right, that's, right. Now, that's now off. Zero. Is that gone back to zero? Yep. So at least we'd at least we'd set it to zero. We got something right. The guys, as I was saying, this is not so much a tutorial video this time. This is just to give you an introduction as to what it is. I'm trying to understand what it's happening. Um, all does right too much. Back a bit. Yeah, uh, back it up a bit. Not a lot. Not too much. Back. Stop. It's 155 at the moment. That's good, that's 153 and a half. 153 and a half, I'll live with that. Mm. You need multiple hands and a set of bloody round. I'm going to buy myself a new set of bars that actually stay together because the yeah. balls the yeah, balls exactly. stuck on that one, you know what I'm saying? That's a lot closer than it was. So yeah, so when we did the big truck guys, obviously we'll be able to show you the actual steps you need in order to do this. So we thought while this is all apart, it's a lot easier to see what's going on. Um, it's just it just makes showing sense for me seeing everything. It's just it's like just this. good to show people the gauge yeah. and that it's not something to be scared of to actually do it this way. Yeah. because um, like I've just said, those timing pins are great and if you're in a hurry you can you can get it all done and sorted. But they're not bang on. Yeah. It's in the ballpark. Now I'll talk them up because they're 25 newton meters. And that pump is timed. Awesome. That engine's going to be well, a hell of a lot closer than it was before. Yeah. Right, so there you go guys, that was kind of a quick overview. Um, I've just had That's 10 minutes. the down and dirty view. I yeah, I've had 10 minutes of Paul explained to me a lot more in depth of what's happening and I'm kind of slightly mind blown at the moment. But um, we, I'll get him to explain more of that in the actual videos when we start doing some tutorials. But yeah, I, he's just kind of explained to me exactly what is going on with all of this and it's like, wow, okay, that needs to sink in. But yeah, it, it's a great piece of kit. So. Neil from 4 is going to give us another one to give away in a competition. We're going to do the competition probably in the next video we do. Guys, we've had a lot of messages over Christmas about when the next video is coming out on Grey Worm. So look, we're back on it now. Um, I'm yeah. ordering parts. Yeah, Paul's ordering parts. I'm just about to order uh, wheels and tyres. I've got everything else I need for the suspension lift on the red one. So we're going to have that video coming probably sometime in February because we'll get it all done in one hit. We're gonna do the whole two inch suspension lift and fit everything. Obviously our first priority is getting on the grey worm. So really, Paul's been messing about with the engine. We, you know, the engine is a, in a lot better um, tuned position now than it was when he got it because it had been absolutely screwed basically with whatever people have been doing with it. Um, so we're going to crack on with this, we're going to pull the body in soon, we're going to start cutting that to bits and getting it all um, welded. We're going to do a road trip down to Low Ranger to pick up uh, the fiberglass body and we're going to go and pick up a roll cage, aren't we? We're getting the roll we cage need, built. We need external roll cage. Yeah, so we'll, we'll do a video on that. We'll show you guys um, both Low Ranger and where we're going to get the um, uh, external roll cage from. So yeah, there's lots to come guys, just obviously we, we, you know, we've had a couple of weeks off. Paul has still managed to do some work on the gym, there's a video that you've either already seen or coming out soon, depending on when I get these edited. So uh, it was just nice to have two weeks away um, from this, because obviously it's a lot of pressure. We're doing two videos a week, and we were in the run up to Christmas. So there's a lot of work to do. So guys, all the help, comment below, let us know, you know, A, if you're enjoying the videos, B, what videos you'd like to see, any sort of specific, especially engine type stuff you want to see, let us know, we can do some videos in the future. 
But uh, yeah, stay tuned guys, make sure you've subscribed and hit the little notification bell so you get told when the next video comes out and we're gonna be carrying on with this monster truck in the very near future. And guys, if you're still with us in the video, stay tuned because we're gonna go to 4x4 Expo in uh, February and we're gonna be speaking to Scott and all the modifications that he's done to the Axe Bomb.